What is up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Reezy. This is the Reezy Resales channel. On this channel, I teach you guys how to make money, how to be more efficient, how to increase your productivity, and occasionally a little off-topic stuff. But for the most part, it's education within the realm of Amazon, eBay, making money selling things is the basic premise of this channel and if you want to learn how to make money selling things online like I've been doing I've sold over five million dollars worth of stuff online in the last 13 years please subscribe to the channel like this video and let's get into it so today I'm gonna to be talking about a Chrome extension that can save you a lot of time it is called context menu search um, it looks like this if you guys would like to install it I highly recommend you do um, and I'm gonna show you how I use it um, I use it a bunch of different ways but this is one of the ways that I use um, with my Amazon business that saves me some time so what you're looking at right now is a zoomed in version of an email that you get on Amazon if you sell FBA this is called um, required removals notification something like that weekly unfulfillable inventory notification basically for various reasons your stuff that you send to Amazon becomes unsellable and if you don't deal with it Amazon will throw it away or sell it under their warehouse deals account because we know that's what actually happens but anyways um, if you sell mostly books that you got for a dollar or whatever thrift store stuff it might not be worth it for you to deal with this like let Amazon throw it away who cares but uh, the thing is they're not always right Amazon is wrong a lot of the times about why something is unfulfillable and if this stuff is expensive stuff that costs you good money like let's say it's some shoes you bought for 40 or 50 bucks and then a customer returned them and for whatever reason Amazon says they're unfulfillable the box could be damaged the shoes could be marked and not in new condition anymore you cannot sell them on Amazon, but you might be able to sell them on eBay or other places, and you might want to recoup that money. I mean, they might even fit you, and you might want to keep them. So when inventory is expensive, you definitely want to be more scrupulous with it and make sure that you get your money back, your investment, right, so you don't lose as much money. Also, um, I just had some stuff sent back to me that is a result of me doing what I'm about to do right now, and um, when it showed up, it wasn't the exact items that I sent into Amazon. They were packaged differently. They were in different boxes. For example, I sent in a pair of Merrill shoes. They were sent back to me in a brown box by Amazon. And so what I did was I photographed the package before I opened it, I, like I do with all my Amazon returns. That's probably a good subject for a whole nother video that I'll do. But I took all photographs, opened the box, front, back, side, inside product, and I said, hey, this is not the item that I sent to Amazon because I sent the, this shoe in the original manufacturer box. And they said, oh, hey, you're right. Here's a $50 credit, which is the low point of selling this item. But I made 10 bucks more than what I paid for the item, which was, I think, 40 bucks from Marshalls or something. So, um, yes, important to have it removed because a lot of times you can get Amazon to pay you. They can lose it on the way of having it back to you. Um, so just something to think about, but I'm going to show you how to go through it quickly. Now here's the FN SKUs for these items, right? And then the quantity that you have on board. I already dealt with this 20 unit one, so I'm not going to go through that. So normally what you would do would be you would copy this. You would go to a tab, which would be your Amazon fulfilled inventory. I think this shortcut bookmark that I have goes there. And then you would search the item and start building the shipment. But it takes a while so what I did is I made a context menu search and you can see this right here context menu and now here are the custom context menus that I've added to this so I have one here that just searches FBA inventory I also have one that searches Wikipedia um, have one that searches Amazon US standard and then I have one that will actually try to list a product on Amazon through the add a product link. That's cool for getting ungated for stuff that um, you're, you're getting auto approved for. But um, let me go here and show you the options real quick. I guess first let me just show you what it does. So now that I have this F and SKU highlighted, I'll just highlight that search term and then click on FBA inventory. Now it opens it in a new tab and you can see here's this item it's a book called Versailles Versailles I don't know how to say that please don't make fun of me 
or do. Um, and apparently I was selling it for forty nine ninety seven. So this is a book I would look into. Now, since I want to, there's no like easy cup one click way to get to see this item on Amazon. If you click here, it just takes you to more details on your own stuff. But using my other context menu search, I can just go here, context menu search, Amazon US. Now I'm searching that on Amazon, and I'm going to go look at this item in detail. So let's see, it has an 801,000 rank. The lowest used is 40, and the lowest new is $111. So I'm definitely going to have this book sent back to me because it has some solid value, and I don't trust Amazon to deem its um, sellability you know it might show up and be damaged in which case it's actually unfulfillable and I can't sell it but um, there's opportunities to make money maybe I can sell this on eBay or maybe I can sell it on Mercari or something so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a removal order there's gonna be a lot of blurring in this video because I have to blur up here for example my store name and also have to blur my home address which you're about to C, not C, it'll be blurred. So that's the stuff that I blurred. Um, so yeah, create removal order, go. And now let me make sure I have this set to my actual address. And then I am going to leave this page here because this field, search and add items, is going to let me add more items. I wonder if I can do... If I can make a context extension for this, let me see. No, it's not going to work. So um, the way that the context menu works, let me go here and right click this one and then go to um, options for context menu. So they have all these ones that you can put in here that like they come or whatever, but um, you want to add your own custom search engine and the way you do it, it tells you right here to add a new search engine, type test search in all capitals in the search engine field, and then search for it, then copy the URL, and then put it here, and then choose a name for the search here. So what that means is that it's only going to work for stuff that when you search for something, the search query is visible in the URL, because you have to tag the search with this test search phrase. But it just like that, it's very simple to create, um, and then it can save you a lot of time. So let's continue onward. I'm going to go here, context menu search, FBA inventory. I'm going to find an item. Let's see. Oh, this is a book, uh, Certified Coding Specialist Exam Preparation. was selling for $38.69, so now I'm going to context menu search. Go check it out on Amazon. Let's see. The rank on this item is 930,000. Not amazing, not terrible. Let's go see the used FBA offers. Whoops, accidentally, accidentally clicked on something I shouldn't have. Now let's go used offers and let's see. Okay, so they're trending 16, 17, 18, and then prime offers. 4896. So I'm going to have this book sent back to me as well. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. Can I search? Let me see if I can search ASINs or. I'm not sure if I can search ASINs or just have to go by SKU. So let me go by SKU, copy the SKU, and then throw it in here, and then click search and it finds that one item and you can see unfulfillable quantity one so I'm gonna click here on the box I'm gonna click add selected now you can see I've built up a list of two items that are gonna be removed and I can close this go back here go to the next one and so on and so on let's see this item uh, American Regional Cuisine Fifty-seven dollars and eight cents. Context menu. F whoops, wrong one. I was already there, dummy. Context menu to Amazon. Then go investigate this a little bit further. Um, this is probably going to be one I'm going to keep. Also, seventy-three thousand. Yeah, definitely sending this one back. So we're going to find out. We'll find out later. You know why Amazon 
had these deemed unfulfillable and if I don't agree I will contest it with Amazon and get them to reimburse me for these items um, add selected close it go back here go to the next one context menu search FBA inventory and actually the way that I like to do it is just go through and do all of these at once So I'm just going through, double clicking on the FN SKU, getting that highlighted, then right clicking, going to context menu, and then choosing FBA inventory. Now I'm going to go through these one by one and find uh, this one, 1239. Not too interested, but I'm going to check it out to see what the FBA price is looking like. And you could save yourself some time by having some scripts that will forward this see this was weird look this one says okay I guess that was just my price at 1239 um, but this is a book with an average sales rank of 450,000 the low price is $70 and it looks like there's no FBA offers which is pretty weird super weird actually what is the current rank on this current rank 417,000 I mean it sells like you can see that's the year graph uh, I'm gonna have this one sent back too. just a little bit confused on what's happening here so copy go here go there paste it in search find it click it add selected make sure you add the one here and now we can close this one and that one. We're gonna go here, thirteen eleven, the complete Persepolis. This uh, this is a kids book, I believe. I'll probably have this sent back for Luna. I think this is a kids book. Yeah. All right. I am going to send this one back as well. So grab this. I'm going to close this, close this. Go back here. Search here. Boom. Add selected. I'm going to come back here. Look at this one. The official Scrabble Player's Dictionary. So they can throw that one away. I could care less about that. This one, Intellectuals and Society. I'll check this one out. Context menu search. Go to Amazon. Um, let's see. This is not the e textbook. Which one did I have? It doesn't say. Let's just say it was the paperback, which I'm assuming it was the paperback. Um, Five ninety two low price. Probably not going to be interested in this one. You can buy it now, Prime for twenty. So they can go ahead and throw that one away. Not too interested in saving that one. Life of Christ. This one's probably not going to be very exciting either. Uh, Fourteen dollars Prime, brand new. So we are not into those ones, and now we are done with our required removal we're just going to go over here and click continue uh, these are the ones that are going to be sent let me go back and just make sure I chose remove and not destroy um, yep ship to address continue and now we are done so that's how I place my removal orders goes a little bit faster when I don't have to explain it to someone but I think that context menu extension for Chrome can really save you guys a lot of time not just with this exact task but with all sorts of tasks I will put the link in the description to the context menu comment down below if you found this useful and let me know any other ways that you are using context menu or any other Chrome extensions that you like to use until next time guys Thanks for subscribing, like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.
Peace. As a recording device. I twist like twin serpents intertwined with divine purpose. A never ending code in your mind designed for service. Now symbolized across the world in many kinds of worship. Duplicated many times, you'll find that every line is perfect. I leave no room for error, every pair has to be certain. Bow down and prepare to see the master behind his curtain. Intelligent design, please be quiet when I'm working.